What's up, guys? This Aren't you gonna put on the costume? <sighs> Is the hat too much? I feel like I feel like the hats the hats too much. It's not even a pirate hat, really. All right, so this is a uh, this is a pirate blaster all the way from Australia land, and I'm excited to unbox it for you. Honestly, this is one of the most unique, compelling 3D printed designs I saw in the entirety of last year, and it took it took a long journey to get here. We went with a classic, different color scheme for it, and it's relatively affordable for this space of custom designed blasters. It comes from CR over here, and just what a great design. Probably made it easier to get through customs, truth be told. Anyway, let's bust it out of the package. Let's see what we got inside. <laughs> Yar, har, fiddly dee. Being a pirate is all right with me. Do what you want, because a pirate is free. You are a pirate. Yo, ahoy in a vast. Hang the black flag from the top of the mast. Do, 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 do. <laughs> All right, so we got a pin in here. And this is a full kit that we get to build. Triggers, bits and bobs, elastic. This is apparently some sort of stringer. And oh, yeah. Oh boy, this is gonna be cool. All right, so I just wanna point out here, like this is great. Look at this design, he's got angles so that he's using his space efficiently. These pieces fit well together and smoothly. This is a gorgeous blend of filament that really lends itself to the form. And I think this is an actual usable, ah, like, tamping rod this is gonna be really cool and the level of detail that went into like making sure that this had you know the old the old jolly roger in cr uh, development here is just i mean look at this look at how much effort and care went into putting these parts together i can't wait to slap it all together and show you what it looks like when it's done All right, guys, so we've got our flint lock. We got it assembled. We played with the torsion a little bit. We fiddled with some of the bits and bobs. I just want to point out what an incredible marvel of homegrown tinkering this is. It's got, you know, 30, 40 different parts or so. It can be made entirely with 3D printed hardware. We eventually went and sunk some actual screws in there just because we wanted to keep ours tight. And the fact of the matter is it does something very unique. First off, it's got this belt clip so that you can strap it onto a bandolier and full on blackbeard with it. It's designed to be a pirate flintlock, but because of the period, I'm actually probably gonna use it for an Alexander Hamilton loadout. I think that that would be pretty, uh, pretty slick in and of itself. However, I just wanna point out that, and this isn't a competing product, this is an old school uh, Kickstarter product. This has a pseudo-functional trigger and actually works on a similar sort of push ramp system, but this is like a garbage rubbery piece that they just slapped onto it. This actually functionally, if the trigger is forward and this is back, gives you that action in that process. And I just think that that's so nifty, that's so cool. I like that it's got this uh, integrated ramrod and because of the nature of how this is designed and how all of the parts are 3D printed to kind of relieve you of needing hardware for it, it's definitely a little fickle in terms of getting it primed. So that's just mine. The, the creator here has a very stable version. I just got it to catch like that. And uh, the way that the blaster kind of mates together is sort of fickle, et cetera, and so forth. But, oh, I forgot, you gotta put the dart in and then actually, once again, kind of tamp that in. So you get some real 1776 vibes out of this bad boy. It's a, it's a fickle pistol, truly the gentleman's dueling uh, sidearm. But when you do have it all together and you've got the flint in there and your, you know, blast cap clothes there and everything, like it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's all worth it for that action. The cinch, how it all goes together is pretty cool. And again, just the, the dedication to making it all 3D printed is very, very exciting. Ships with an orange muzzle. You can buy the kit on Etsy. Uh, you can also get the STLs on Etsy if you want to make your own version. I feel like if you make your own version and print and file and tweak all of your own pieces, it'll be about as smooth or otherwise as uh, you allow it to be. I'm trying really hard to get one more good shot for you guys. So I do just want to point out that with a lot of these 3D printed kind of blasters that prioritize, you know, aesthetics over uh, the sort of firing mechanism and actuation of their design, 
that you wind up kind of with this trade-off in terms of like how efficient is the performance, et cetera, and so forth. And so this does get 60 foot ranges, but it's not for practical stuff. This is great for cosplay. This is phenomenal for like goofing off and plinking and shooting, you know, cans and, and what have you like that. This is a very fun kind of maker project. It's a, it's a stem toy more than it's a blaster toy. And it's just so special that the hobby has room for all of that with a little bit of a piratey flair. So I'm incredibly impressed by this. The file set is down below. And if you can put one of these together with, you know, 3D printed screws and everything, my hat, uh, tricorner or otherwise, tips to you. But I think that it's seriously cool. I like that it's kind of a lot of work. And once you've got it going with the tension strength of the rubber bands in there, it's actually, it's not a bad shooter. I mean, the darts fly straighter than elite darts, that's for sure. And the power really isn't that bad. Fickle though it may be to get it all kind of torsioned and set up right, I, uh, I don't see anything wrong with the overall design. Um, my only comment is that because of how I have to prime mine, the original pusher has a dart kind of post in it. I removed that dart post so that I could play with how I tamped it and got it to catch a little bit better. But overall, I think this is an excellent STEM project. I highly, highly recommend checking out the file set. And I mean, it's just cool. It's cool that in a world where a lot of people pursue performance over everything and you wind up with chunky stuff that looks like, well, the Caliburn, uh, some people are there for the aesthetics and they make really cool stuff that looks like it belongs on a uh, high seas adventure. Anyway, that's, uh, that's my take on it. I love it. Let me know what you think uh, of it. It's just... It's very accurate. In a world where only two years ago we had this uh, PVC monstrosity, this is significantly more of the feel that I'm going for in that realm. Much love, blast on, Drakow. Ah!